We had a good one last night, Thursday Night Football, one of the best games of the year. Fly, Eagles, fly. Carson Wentz threw for 222 yards and three TDs to help the Eagles take down the Panthers 28-23 to to improve to an NFC best 5-1. Stephen A., I know how well you know the city, this team. How far can this Philly squad go? I got to admit, um, they have shocked me, uh, to be quite honest with you. I didn't expect them to be this good. Uh, pretty early, I recognize. You know, you know they're going to be rough riders. You anticipate that they'll beat up one on one another within the NFC East. That we had the Giants and the Cowboys, um, at, at, you know, in, in, in a higher status. Uh, but that clearly was a mistake. I've got to eat it. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles have shocked me. I thought losing Jordan Matthews and sending him to Buffalo, even though Alshon Jeffrey can play, I thought it would take some time to develop that chemistry with him, Corey Smith. I didn't get to see any production last year from the tight end spot with Selleck and Ertz, uh, but but Ertz had two touchdown catches last night. Only had two receptions for 18 yards, but both of them were touchdown passes, one for a 17-yarder, one for a one-yarder. Um, but Carson Wentz, uh, this kid is nice. I mean, he's got a nice game. He's a special kind of player. Uh, he was on first take when we uh, did the show from Philadelphia months ago, and we, we invited him because we believe in him. We know he can play. And, and sure enough that he's showing that uh, this dude uh, has the potential to be that kind of star. He's got some wheels on him. He's got a lot of poise. Uh, he's grown. He's matured. Uh, he can actually make all the requisite throws. Uh, if you're the Los Angeles Rams, you really, really got to wonder, even though Jared Goff has looked good for the most part this season, you really have to wonder what they were thinking when they just, just decided uh, that it was an easy choice to pass on Wentz to go with Goff because what I'm seeing from, Walt, from Wentz is very impressive. But then the intestinal fortitude of the Philadelphia Eagles really uh, resonates with me. Fletcher Cox gets injured. Lane Johnson can't play last night. He's injured. Darby's out. Rodney McLeod is out. Darren Sproles is out. All of these injuries that they've gone through, and yet somehow, some way, Max, they keep finding a way. This reminds me of the Philadelphia Eagles team that I covered uh, years ago uh, when they went to five consecutive NFC Championship games and a Super Bowl appearance before losing to Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. Yeah, they might have had T.O. when they went to the Super Bowl, but I remember them having the Todd Pinkstons of the world and others, uh, you know, with the Brian Westbrooks coming out of the backfield. But that defense, uh, you know, led, led by a defensive coordinator, Johnson, God rest his soul, uh, was serious business. And with Brian Dawkins and the crew, they played no games. This team is starting to remind me of that from the standpoint that they're really getting at you and they're finding different ways to be successful. So I've got to eat crow on the Philadelphia Eagles for the time being because I did not expect them to look this good this early.